So I've got a MUX 2021 lineup set up here. Actually in the back I've got the previous generation drummer. Here is the drummer 5.0. The Segel, which is the traditional gathered end hammock. And then right here is the drummer ultralight, brand new. I'm not going to go over every single little detail on these hammocks. I'm just going to cover what's new for this year and what are my personal highlights for these hammocks, which I absolutely love. First of all, you might be wondering why I have two tarps set up here. This is the new Strolled tarp, the Strolled 10. This is the previous version. It's just a little more generously sized, which is exactly what I wanted, so I'm thrilled about that. Just if you're in heavy rainfall, it just gives you a little extra peace of mind to know that the rain's not gonna come in and from the, if it starts blowing sideways, it's not gonna get under the tarp. So I'm really happy about that. It's still a super lightweight and small tarp and there's really nothing I would change about it now. Okay, with that out of the way, I can get rid of this. People sometimes wonder about the easiest way to get into the drummer. I like to grab the center straps on both sides and it just kind of tells you where the middle is. I find that's the simplest way of getting in. So here's what's new in the drummer 5.0. First of all, the bug mesh. It's now black, which is great. Believe it or not, it seems strange, but black is easier to see through than the light gray that it was before. It also doesn't go over the ridge line here on the sides. It used to zip all the way around those. Now it goes under them, which makes zipping it up when you're in here quite a lot easier. So that's a really significant improvement on the bug mesh. Before, see there, it's zipped up right there. And before you had to kind of reach to get around the ridge line, so it's really nice. Secondly, the water bottle holder is a little more generous now and it easily fits a, a Nalgene, which is probably what most people have for a water bottle out here. Before I wasn't able to get the Nalgene in the drink holder. The stuff sack can clip in here. It's detachable again. It used to be permanently affixed here, just past uh, the edge of the, of the hammock. So that's nice that it can come off because I found if it was really rainy, it was susceptible to getting wet out there and it would blow around in the wind. So it's nice to have it inside. And that also means that you have a little extra storage sack here. So I could put a cell phone in here, whatever. And, and as always, there are lots of little pouches here, little shelves up in the corners for your, your boots if they're not too dirty, anything. Now, this is new to me, but it was actually introduced uh, midway through 2020. It's the pole set. It's a little collapsible pole that holds up the foot box and, and head box, which is really nice because once you get to a campsite, you may not want to try and find a good stick to slide in there. So it's just one less thing to do when you get to camp. One other difference with the bug mesh is that it's now integrated. It was removable in the last version. It still zips fully around and then you can stuff it into that shelf on that end of the hammock, but you just can't remove it fully. Another new piece on the 5.0 is this little drip guard. So if it's raining really hard and water is just pouring down your suspension straps, it'll just drip right off of this drip guard. The suspension system is still extremely easy to adjust. Literally just have to put through this metal tab and pull it and it holds. And then if you want to release, you just pull this red tab or green on the other end so you know which side is left and right. You just pull it in and it releases. Couldn't be simpler. And the tarp is just as easy. Just have to pull the cord and this little piece here just holds that tension perfectly. To release it, just lift it up and back. It's really a brilliant system. Makes setting it up so easy. So Amok made some fantastic changes with the 5.0, but then the mind blowing thing was the entire ultralight collection that they released this year with the 5.0. So this is the whole setup here. It includes the tarp, the pad, and the drummer. There's an ultralight version of all three. And I'll show what the uh, weight savings are below, but yeah, it's, it's very light. So this is an amazing choice if you're a backpacker or if you're really weight conscious. For canoe trippers like me, it's not essential as it is for a backpacker perhaps, but it's still really nice to have the weight savings. So we'll be using both depending on what kind of a trip we're on, depending how, uh, how intense it is, how much portaging there is. But yeah, just a, a brilliant option. There's no sacrificing comfort whatsoever. And this is actually Aaron's. So this is the regular size drummer ultra light. Uh, I take an XL. So there's an XL version if you, for, for big and tall. So with the ultra light, you can see the material is like a bit see-through. It's still extremely strong, but uh, they've evidently shaved off some grams there. There's no zipper for the pad at the bottom. It just slides in. It doesn't, there's no zipper closure, but that's not really a big deal. It's not, it's not going anywhere. 
The straps look a little thinner width-wise. Maybe just to shave some grams there. And then the uh, suspension system uses some aluminum, heavy-duty aluminum clips, so they're a bit more lightweight. Yeah, it's, it, nothing's been sacrificed, which is really impressive. But you wouldn't know, like just if you were sitting in this with your eyes closed, you'd have no idea that you're in the ultralight. It's just when it's on your back. And last but not least is this little guy, the Segel. Aww, cute. So this is a traditional gathered end hammock. Still very enjoyable. Um, the drummer is, in my opinion, the maximum in comfort. But this is a very budget-friendly option if you're looking to kind of wet your feet in the hammocking world. You can still overnight in it for sure. You can even use a sleeping pad in here and kind of sleep on a bit of a diagonal so that you sleep flatter. Or it's just great for lounging around at a, at a cabin in your backyard if you have one or at the park. Very comfortable. And it's super soft. Like this has got to be the softest hammock material I've ever felt. Very comfortable and there are no seams sewn into it, like it's just one continuous piece of material. So those seams, if, you, uh, if you're in here in like shorts and t-shirt, they can actually kind of rub on your skin and be a bit annoying or uncomfortable. So this is pretty sweet. And this is the XL, so there is a big version of this too. It's uh, sizable, it's generous.